So we're finally on to the ability to register a user. And this kind of comes in three parts. So in this part, we're going to look at actually creating the route, building up the form and actually storing the user record in the database, uh, along with the hashed password that we created in the last part, the ability to create hashed passwords. And then in the next part, we're going to look at validating the form, how we use the validator to validate. And then we're going to add the unique user email and username checking. So let's get started then with adding a link in our navigation and creating our route. So the first thing I want to do then is under my routes uh, folder here, I'm going to create a new folder. And this folder is going to be called auth. So it's going to be anything to do with user authentication. So for example, uh, this could be changing a password, activating an account, registering, logging in and logging out. So we'll create a new file in here and I'm going to call this register.php and let's create create our root. So app get register and in here we need to render out our register view. Let's also give this a name and uh, we'll call this register. So the view then we need to create, we're going to follow the same directory structure as the roots. So under here we're going to create a new folder called auth and in here we're going to create a new file and call this register.php and this is just going to be the registration form. So we've got our root set up and we've got our view set up. Uh, let's go over to our base roots file and hook this in. So this is under auth and it's called register. So now we will be able to visit register in our browser and we have our root. So we could, I guess, just render this view out quickly. So app render auth register.php. And remember, we need to use app so it's in this scope. And then we have our register page. Let's add this to the navigation. So under templates and navigation, we want to add this here. So register. We will need to eventually protect this link because when a user is already signed in, we don't want to give the option to register. Uh, so we'll be doing that in just a moment. But uh, register there, so URL for register because we have a named register route. And then in our navigation, just here we have register. So we can click through to our register page. Perfect. So let's focus on our view now. So we'll build up our form and be able to submit this through. And then we'll have another route which will pick up the posted uh, variables that we send through. So inside of here, we need to do the same as home.php by extending the default template. Uh, I'm gonna just copy and paste this just to save time. So I'm gonna paste that into there. And for the title, we can change this to register and the home uh, we will replace with register. So under register now, we have register up here and we have this within our main template. So let's build the form then. So inside of our content, we want to create a form. The action is just going to be URL for register.post. Now this is the post route that we're going to be creating to be able to post what this user sends through. And this doesn't exist at the moment. So let's just quickly define this out now just so we have it there. So post register and again we use app in here and in here let's just echo out form posted like that so when we submit this form through we'll just get that form posted text output so the method here is post and I'm going to turn autocomplete off just so we don't get suggestions when we're typing in emails and usernames so uh, we obviously don't have any styles here, so I'm just going to wrap each field in a div. But of course, you can go ahead and uh, use maybe a front end framework for a grid system or, or whatever you're using to style this out nicely. But we're going to have a label, first of all, for the email. So this is going to be where the user is going to enter the email address. And we have an input type of text. So an input type of text, uh, we give this a name. This is the name we'll pick up within PHP. And the ID is so this label recognizes this input. Okay, so now that we've got that in there, let's do the next one. And again, I'm just going to copy and paste these down. So the next one is for the username. 
So we type in the username here and we'll change the name here to username and the ID to username as well. You can also use a type of email if you want front end validation here, but we'll just leave that as it is because we're going to be doing the validation on the back end. So next is the password. This does require a type of password so we can um, sort of blank out the, the password as the user's typing. And let's change this to password and we'll say password and the name and the ID as well. And we're going to have a repeat password. So the user is going to have to confirm their password. So we're going to call this password underscore confirm. And here we'll say confirm password. And again, we'll say name as password underscore confirm and ID password confirm. And last but not least, we want our submit button. So we're going to have an input type of submit like so. And in here, we'll just say register. So we now have the following. Of course, we haven't named our register.post root here. So let's just do that now. That's why we saw that error. So register.post and we can refresh and see our form and we can hit register and we see form posted. So as easy as that, nice and broken up into two routes. We've got our view here completely separate from our logic that's going to happen in here and we are all ready to go. So now what we're going to do is build out the actual registration functionality to put the record into the user's table so we can actually register the user. Like I said before, we're not going to be dealing with validation at this point. We're going to do that next. And we're not going to be dealing with activating the user's account. We'll do that in a separate part as well. So how do we get the posted data? Well, normally we would do something like post username or post email. But Slim has uh, helpers to let us do this. And this all comes from the request. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called request and say app request. That's going to store everything that's been sent through to this route now and various other things. So what we can do is we can say the email is request post. So that's the method email. And the username is going to be that with the usernames, these are just the names that we gave in the form. And we also have the password here. And we have the password confirm. That's password underscore confirm. So we have our posted data now. And all we need to do is put this into a record. But obviously what we need to do is we need to hash the password at the same time. Now, cast your mind back to when we created our user model. We can use our user model to create a record. And we also remember attach this to Slim's container. So it was called user. So what we can do now is let's just close these off. We can say app user, and then we can use eloquence functionality from this model to create a new record. So all we do is we say create. We pass an array in with the uh, properties or the column names that we want to fill. So we want to fill the email address in as the email that we've given up here. We want to fill in the username with the username that we gave. We want to fill in the password like that. And that's it for now. We're not adding activation or anything like that. This password is now going to be stored as plain text. So we need to hash this password. So remember, we have app hash, which is our uh, class that we created, which we attached to Slim's container. And we have our password method, which lets us hash that password. So now what we can do is flash a message, which we've already seen how to do. So we're going to flash global and we're going to say you have been registered. And then we're going to redirect the user to the home page. So we're going to say app response redirect and then we'll grab the URL for the home page and that will redirect us. So let's give this a go and see what we uh, get when we submit this form. So I'm going to type in my email address or an email address. So we're going to say tabby at codecourse.com. We'll give a username. We'll type in a password, which we'll be validating later to see if these check, etc. And we'll hit register. OK, so we have a query exception unknown column email. Uh, let's just have a look here. Oh, OK, so we haven't stored the email in this table. So let's do that now. So Varchar255 should have really noticed that, but 
uh, we have the email now stored. So that wouldn't have created a record. So if we just refresh here, we have no records. Let's try it again. And let's also make sure that in our user model, we have emails fillable. Yes, we do. So let's again, register an account. Like so hit register. And there we go. So we get you have been registered. We refresh that goes and we now have a record inserted into our table. So we've got the username here, an ID of one, because it's the first record that we've created. We've got our password, which is hashed here. Uh, active is set to zero, so we'll have to uh, add in email activation and everything else is null. And we also have a created at date and we also have an updated at date as well in here. Uh, I'm guessing what it's doing is uh, just adding that in anyway, but that is pretty much it to register. But of course, what we need to do is at the point of when a user does register, we need to validate. So what we're going to be doing in the next part is setting up our validation class, which is going to extend violin, which is that package we pulled in uh, in the first part of the series. And then we're going to actually validate this data. And if it fails, we're going to take the user back to that form and we're going to show them any errors that happened along the way.